Hey, this is Clock Tor. Thank you for uh, dropping by my channel to check this out. I hope you enjoyed. This is how I came up with making shadows in Premiere Pro. And I really just want you guys to know that this is my passion and I like doing this. So I, I hope you enjoy these videos I make. I make these videos because I want you guys to be successful and have fun on this stuff because I, I have a blast doing this. So let's dive right in here. So today what we're going to do is we're going to, yeah, like I said, we're going to make a shadow here in Premiere Pro. Now everything that I'm doing here is all in Premiere Pro. So let's, let's pop open Premiere Pro. So this is a video I have made. I have made this video. And um, here it goes. I mean, this is, you can see there's no shadow here. Everything else you see in this video is uh, Premiere Pro. This is all 100% Premiere Pro. So anyways, like I said, I would really like to have a shadow here. So let's get right into it. You know what I mean? I, I, I want to make this as simple for you guys as possible. So what I do is I grab, I'm going to grab this uh, video here and I'm going to hold Alt. So I'm going to highlight it and I'm going to hold Alt. And I'm going to left click, move over, and let go. You can also hit copy, move your cursor over, and hit paste. Whatever way you want to do it, that's fine with me. So what we're going to do, so this is already a chroma keyed screen. It's an ultra key. If you guys want to have any questions or want me to do any other tutorials on what you see in this video, that's absolutely fantastic. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to grab this video so it's highlighted. And I'm going to make sure I'm in effects controls up here. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come into here and I want to make sure you hit this double arrow and hit effects and make sure you're on effects. Okay. The first thing I'm going to add is a flip. So just type F L I P and, f and then, uh, flip, flip will come up. You see, I had to scroll up. It was so make sure you scroll up and down and look all the way over. So you want to select vertical flip. So if you double click that, it's going to automatically put it in there. You can also grab it and hold it down and bring it in here and grab it and hold it down and bring it in there. But anyway, so th here's your vertical flip. So now I'm upside down. So now for the next move I want to do, I want to turn this guy into a silhouette. So I got to move him into here. So I'm moving my video now, the same exact video, right into here. Okay, so now everything looks goofy as heck. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come into my motion. And I'm going to lower it down so I can see where the heck I'm at here. Now I'm going to do my second effect, which is tint. Okay. I'm going to, I always like to close these boxes up because that's just the way I am, I guess. So just simply type in tint. Okay. Hover over your tint. Make sure that this video is highlighted and double click tint. Okay. Now you can see. That's obviously that you got to do something here. All I want you to do is grab this pen drop here, water drop, and select the black right on top of it. See, so I just went from right here to right there. Now to click that. Now that'll turn you into a silhouette. Okay. So now I'm going to minimize that. Now I want to go to my motion. I'm just going to get him a little bit out. Okay, let's get him. Let's see. Okay, so we can see him in here. Here's my silhouette. Okay, so now for the third thing we want to import here from the effects, make sure this is highlighted. I know I keep saying that, but I, I always forget that sometimes. So what we're going to do is just type in B-L-U-R, blur, all right? Now we're going to go to camera blur right here. Now double-click camera blur. So uh, my recommended setting is, uh, this is all I want you to do here is go to percent blur and put it on 15 to 16. I recommend 14, or sorry, 14 to 16. <laughs> okay, I recommend 14. You can see it's got a pretty nice blur to it. So now what, what we want to squish this vid, we want to squish it, you know, because it's, obviously this isn't going to work. So what you're going to do is unselect uniform scale. Boom. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to make him really dang the, the scale. See, I'm scaling down right here. You know, I'm going to probably go down to about, let's try 20% here. And let's bring him out. You see how I'm way wider here? I'm wider. I'm way too wide. So this is the width. So let's bring that sucker down. 
Okay, so now let's put, let's try to put him, move him down a bit, put him into. He still seems a little too long for me. I'm gonna squish him even more. So I'm down at twelve. Now I'm gonna bring him up to meet his shoes here. You know, if you're watching my shadow. Okay. So now what I'm gonna do? I I believe I have it positioned very well. So um. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to motion and then I'm going to go to opacity and I'm going to drop down opacity and make sure this time marker is off. I don't know why that's on. I don't know if that's normally on or not. I can't remember. But make sure that time marker is off. Now, as you adjust this, you're going to see this turn into a more realistic shadow. So see, see how that is? So, I yeah, let's see. Let's go down even more here. I think that's pretty dang realistic right there. Around 44% is where I'm at. So now let's let's run this through here. Let's see let's see if my shadow works. Okay, it seems like it could be, you know, dropped a little lower here. <laughs> Probably let's let's try one more time, you know what I mean? But this here is 